Christmas is all about? Hi you guys, welcome back for Vlogmas day three. I am checking in at the start of this video because I actually have footage of me decorating my apartment. Um, but this happened like maybe two, maybe even three weeks ago. I decorated almost right after um, Halloween was over. I think that very next weekend I was decorating and I was recording but I don't remember <laughs> what I recorded. So um, I'm gonna insert some decoration footage if this is your first Vlogmas. Hey, welcome to the game. My name is Gaby, I'm also Gabrielle. And here on the channel we are Miss GCH. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you found me and joined me. Um, so here I am going to insert, I think, is that how I'm gonna do this? Yes, okay. I will start off by inserting <laughs> a lot of my decor footage, whatever I'm able to find, and then I'm gonna give you guys a semi-tour, full on disclaimer, full on disclaimer, okay? My house is not fully decorated. It is, but like there are a few areas which I will point out when I do my like little tour that I feel like are just not, they're not enough. Um, and I have a few more decorations, but I just didn't like how they were looking. They weren't fitting the aesthetic. So right now I'm just gonna keep what I have. If you all have ideas for the certain areas that I point out to y'all that need a little help, then drop them in the comments, okay? It's never too late to make a trip to Hobby Lobby and it's always worth it when it's Christmas time. I don't feel festive enough. In the clips I am, uh, I think I have a Santa hat on. Hold please. We're back and I have my ears on. Yes, okay, this is so extra of me. Right now, I'm gonna throw it back to decorating.
Okay, so that was my apartment as it currently stands. I don't know why I sat down just now, like I'm not about to just walk around and talk about those areas. First of all, I love, I love the space. I'm not even like, I'm not complaining. I love how everything came out. This tree, the vision for this tree was more of like a white, um, rustic, I've been saying, theme, like a very woodsy, rustic theme. Um, and you're really getting that with the, um, whatever this is called. I forget what it's actually called. And I don't think this is how it's necessarily supposed to be used, but I loved wrapping it around the tree. I think it added the perfect touch of rustic. And then like all of the elements are like wood and white, literally all of them, um, have these very like, I don't know, just earthy textures to them. Um, so I don't know how I really nailed the vision for this. Like I love this one. Um, I don't know. I think it was Hobby Lobby, honestly, that I, that's really where I got all of these ornaments from, was Hobby Lobby that had the 50% off sale and it was perfect. And so this tied together really well. The only thing I used of mine, um, well obviously I bought the tree, I think I said that, and then the beads. Um, but everything else I purchased, but it honestly was not that expensive at all. Um, you might recognize this green blanket from my fall decor. Literally, I just took away the orange uh, pillow, brought back in my white pillow, added this um, blanket that I had that is like, it's got the tan color on the one side and then white on the other. So I folded it to the white, but I do like the peak of um, tan. It really fits the vision from the tree. So I love really how all of this came together. It kind of unintentionally went pretty perfect. Um, I had different garland out here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. So I, what made me think of it is I used to have different garland out here, but I had a struggle piece of garland on my um, patio banister, and I decided to take the other piece that was in here and double up out there, so it would be um, pretty full. So actually, let me show you that. I already had the lights up. I've had them up since the summer times, really since I moved in. And so adding the garland, it makes the lights look like they're holiday lights, when in actuality, they're always there. Um, so I love how that turned out. I really wish I could sit out there, but the weather is not really conducive for that in this Northeast Ohio weather. But of course, as always, my favorite part of my decor is this tray. I don't know how, but every time it comes to this tray, the vision just comes together. It just, it just always gives what it's supposed to give. And so I love the tray, I love the elements of the tray. That I feel like is perfect. And I even love this little corner over here. I don't feel like I need to add much else to my kitchen because I do like that minimal modern look. Um, I'm really focusing on the greenery this year. Like I really just love the um, look of garland and, um, yeah, just like exposed tree. I didn't really have the need or the desire to go like super glam this year, except for my office tree. I do kind of wish that I had, I saw somebody with um, like Christmas decor around their coffee stand and I was like, wow, little jealous. They had like a wood basket and like, I don't know, it just looked really holiday chic over here. Um, so yeah, this area is struggling a little bit. <laughs> I think if I wanted to add something in the kitchen, it would be to this area right here. But I even love the way that this uh, simple towel goes perfectly with just the overall aesthetic. And then, which I had that already, by the way. And then this is an apron I got from Hobby Lobby. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you like I'm chefing it up out here, okay? But something about an apron just is like, Holidays are for baking, you know? And so this makes me feel super homey by having this hanging on the door. I love the colors, I love the design. I feel like it just, it fits perfectly, even though it is more of like holiday colors with the red added. I don't know, I just feel like it works and adds a cozy vibe to the kitchen. So if I was extra, I also wanted to put garland up top up here. And yes, I am that extra. I also thought about getting a wreath to hang from here because I don't actually use these cabinets. There's literally nothing in there. So it wouldn't hurt me to hang a wreath there, but I felt like I was starting to get a little overboard, especially on the funds. So 
one day one day we will get there this is kind of my little minimal minimal ish start this area is forever a struggle i have yet to decorate this cubby hole since i've moved in i wanted to do artwork here and yeah i'm gonna figure it out at some point i also want to get one of those like gallery lights that are that will literally just stick onto the wall and like shine onto some artwork so eventually that will happen for now i loved this but it didn't fit in any other space it actually went on my mantle last year if you've been around that long and remember and so since i couldn't find another space where i'm like you know i'm gonna put it here <laughs> so that's what happened there i don't really have anything else to put in here i do have like this white light up tree that's like battery powered but i just feel like that would be making it would just be doing the most so because we are limited <laughs> this is what is happening here um but i do definitely want to add something to this space you literally see the tag is still on this tree because i was debating heavy whether i was going to keep it it's literally from the dollar section at target so there's really no reason not to keep it but i think i want like a runner or some kind of like scarf something to make this like even more cozy I really think I'm going to do a scarf. I saw one in the dollar section at Target um, that was like black and white, but it was very like, I don't know. It was just very holiday vibe. And I think it actually was legit a scarf, but I was going to use it as a table runner type situation or some kind of way to decorate this. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to add to this. I did want to put some kind of greenery like garland style greenery like almost coming out of vase or something but the way these prices are set up i literally saw what i wanted at target but the way these prices are set up these days if it ain't on sale i can't holler at it so if you have any other cheap ideas for the entryway i feel like i haven't done it entirely enough justice so yeah it's okay but it, it needs work it needs help i was telling y'all about the tv stand and like literally walked away i got this drapey garland from kirkland's um it was actually on sale i think i got it black friday or sometime around that time um and i got this from hobby lobby this from hobby lobby and then i already had these two from a previous year from target i think from last year from the target dollar spot so i don't know i feel like these colors again match the woodsy rustic theme that we've got going on with white and tan so i don't know to me it did this little area justice and i'm i'm okay with it i got this candle from um michael's i believe uh yeah got this from michael's I actually got all the candles from michael's i believe except for that amber leather one is from walmart um but yeah, I love, I wish you all could smell what it smells like in here. It smells amazing, literally amazing. Um, I actually have two stocking holders here, um, but only one stocking. So I hope to get, I think a black stocking. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But there's another stocking that's going to go here. Originally, I was going to get all this stuff before I ever showed you guys. But I'm like, listen, this is Vlogmas. Y'all getting the real real, okay? This is, this is what it is. And then in here is the office. And I have my old tree up in here. Um, and I used all, like, old decorations that I already had. Really from last year's tree. Um, and honestly, previous years as well. I had, like, the gold set from previous years. And it just, it worked. Like, it's like browns and creams and golds and sparkles. And it's perfect. And I get all the compliments in my Zoom calls with my colleagues they're like wow your tree is so nice and i'm like thanks <laughs> so it was funny because i originally i think i was thinking about getting rid of this old tree or just like trying to figure out what i would do with it but i love the fact that i was able to use it in my office because i have so much space in here while i wait to get a pull out sofa bed because nobody seems to sell those in a price range that i can actually afford so we're still waiting i'm also trying to get rid of this uh locked filing cabinet still Bought it last year, spent too much money for it from Ikea, and now I can't get rid of it. Nobody wants to buy it. So it's just sitting in here taking up space. But I love this space. I love this corner. It's perfectly angled so that where my desk, um, computer desk is, my camera, when I'm on a call, it just perfectly captures this in the background. Um, so I don't want to show too much else of the office because 
Um, I will be doing a full reveal and it's not even, I know it looks like it's close to done, but it's really not. Decoration wise, it's really not. So I just came in here for the tree. I love it, I love the tree. But yeah, I don't have any decorations in my room, so I'm not gonna go in there, but there's my room. I've been watching Hallmark movies literally all day, so um, if y'all have watched some or have recommendations, let me know, because I'm all about the Christmas movies. I'm happy I got to show you guys all my decorations. This feels good. So I'm gonna get off of here so that I can put these clips together and start editing them for tomorrow's vlog. Um, I love how this vlogmas is going, y'all. It's really working. Wow, are you guys having fun? If you are, let me know in the comments. I love you guys, I appreciate your support, and I will see you tomorrow for the next vlogmas day. Wow, what's the next day? It'll be day four. <laughs> Bye, y'all.